ANSI space A. That'll tell me that it's an A size sheet of paper. So I'm going to select Layout 2. So I left mouse click on Layout 2. I'll then right mouse click on that same tab and I need to use the Page Setup Manager. Layout 2, I need to modify the size. So I get a printer window and it tells me that my current printer is located well I'm gonna actually go to print to none because my current printer doesn't um, allow B size printing but I can move it to a printer that does what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, and move it to an 11 by 17 setting and just put no printer is specified 11 by 17 will choose OK so now I've got a paper size of 11 by 17 in layout 2. We'll choose close. What else do you see? Well you can see the dotted lines. You can also see that there's another viewport here. What is the step that we didn't do in the first one? We didn't put a viewport in. So we better go back to ANSI A and put a viewport in here first before we copy it over to the B side. To put a viewport in, we use the view command or the view pull down, and we use a rectangular viewport. If we had a non rectangular viewport, there are options associated with that to do a polygonal one, which is way cool. But we're going to do a standard rectangular viewport, and it's going to be from the upper edge, and it doesn't matter if you go right to left or left to right. All you're doing is picking two opposite corners, and now you can see that the grid is inside, and so anything that shows up on the model space will now show up on my sheet of paper, which is cool. What I need to do now is copy this to layout number two, which is our B size. So we're going to use the same basis, and we're just going to stretch it. So to copy it, I want to make sure that I'm out of any command, so I hit the escape key. I'm going to window around my object, whether it's blue or green, it's going to go fully around my object. Right mouse click, and I can go clipboard, copy with base point again, pick the lower left base point, and I'm going to go to layout number two, right mouse click, clipboard, paste it. Okay, well, we know that the B-size title block isn't going to fit very well. But I'm going to go ahead and eyeball it about here to where it's equal distance. I kind of jumped out of the way um, between the two. No matter, we're going to stretch it to make it work. Let me try that again. Right mouse click, clipboard, paste left mouse click. So what's happening here is my viewport got too big. I need to move the viewport. Ah, so it pasted it as a viewport. Bad news there. Okay, so let's undo that. Sometimes things don't work exactly as planned. Go back to ANSI A. I'm going to delete the viewport that I just put in. Now I'm going to copy it. Right mouse click, clipboard, copy with base, and then go over to layout two. Wow, and amazingly it's there. That was weird. So something that I created with the viewport caused the problem with it. And so it, it literally was still there. I didn't have to copy and paste it. It just had a uh, an issue with the viewport. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and stretch this so it fits properly. So back to the Home tab, Stretch. I'll do the vertical stretching first. And again, I can, as long as I move it straight up, and it's at a 90 degree angle, and make sure that it's inside the dotted lines, I can stretch it. Now on this one, I'm going to stretch, not, the, not where all the text is, but I'm going to stretch the open area. So again, I'm going to stretch again right to left but where I'm gonna cut it is somewhere in the graphics area and so I'm gonna go ahead and move it this should be at zero so I want to make sure that I'm inside the dotted line at the zero direction so there we have a B size title block better save it let me rename it 
we'll call that a n s i b let's put the title let's put the viewports in for each of the um layouts and then we'll save it so we'll go to view rectangular viewport we'll put one viewport in here click over to ANSI A rectangular viewport put one viewport in here both have viewports now we'll hit the save button and save our work or we can do a save as and I'll do title block creation and save it now I'll also do another save as because we saved it as a drawing the first time I need to save it as a drawing template and when you save a drawing template it automatically moves it to the my docs templates area under AutoCAD I'm gonna pause the tape move it to uh, my storage area that I need to store it in and you can store it out on a flash drive anywhere you want or you can leave it in the template subdirectory either way but you need to know where it's getting saved so it's it's under my student subdirectory and I'm gonna go ahead and save it there and it's called title block creation same name it makes no difference because they're two different three letter extensions now it's asking me a description and I wanna put a n s i a and a a N S I A and A N S I B title blocks. Now I can hit create more layout tabs and have C, D, and E size, and you'll see the advantage of doing that here in just a minute. So I've now finished creating A and B size title blocks. I'm going to pause the tape again. We're then going to move into a, a drawing that's already been created and show you how to bring title blocks into an existing drawing for you to utilize for uh, plotting to scale. Okay, we now have a drawing that was created previously, and I need to put it and print it on a title block. So when I go to layout one, there's no title block. It's just the layout sheet with the viewport, which will work out okay, and we can add my name and so forth. But I need to have a title block. So to create or place a title block in an existing drawing that's been created, let me move it back to the model tab here. We're going to right mouse click on the layout. And under this, we can create a new layout from an existing template. And remember, we just created a template with an A and a B size title block in it on the layout side. So we're going to choose from template, and again it's going to go and, and look in the, the template subdirectory, so it's a good place to store yours also. I moved it over to the storage area that I'm currently using, and you'll see title block creation, the one that I just saved. I'm going to go ahead and create or, or select that template and choose open, and it's going to ask me what size. Do I want A size or B size? Imagine having C, D, and E size also available. So having that template pre-created with the title block on it makes it so much easier for you to be efficient in your drawing and printing capabilities. So I'm going to choose A size and choose OK. You'll notice that I have now created a new tab, an ANSI A tab on the bottom. And that ANSI A tab, yeah, it's got an image of my title block inside the title block. But now, when I select it, I now have the title block in my current drawing. Well, kind of. It's not exactly there yet. We're getting there, though. So here's the deal. I need to somehow get this to be to scale. And so how do I get it to scale? Well, if you remember back to the previous video, we double click in, double click out, we do the hokey pokey to get the scaling factor set up okay. So first things first. 
let's double click in and right now we're at a scale of 0.78 I can also hold my wheel down and since I can see part of my object I can bring it in to the screen now what if I don't see my object at all what do I do I double click the wheel really fast and it maximizes the object in my view that guarantees that it's going to fit I'm just going to use the wheel mouse and back it down just a little bit because my scale now is 0.55 so a half scale would work out really well let's try since we're still double clicked in let's try one to one and see what that looks like does this leave me enough room for dimensions that's the big question typically if I'm just gonna print this with no dimensions one to one is fine but if I'm gonna add dimensions I may go three-quarter scale 0.75 to one or I can go one to two or half scale and that leaves me more than enough for dimensions so let's leave it at half scale I'll double click out remember hokey pokey when we double click in we can set the scale set the view position we double click out we're now at the title block level so I'm gonna highlight the scale double click on the scale and I'm gonna make this one to two is my scale because that's what we edit it as as a one to two scale factor alright so now I've edited the scale I go through my normal printing procedure to print it out way simpler than trying to scale title blocks to make things fit on inside model space you pre-create the templates takes you a few minutes or an hour or two for your company once it's done you can share it with everybody else that makes them more efficient makes the whole company more efficient makes your drawings more efficient if you're a student um, it's a win-win opportunity for creating these particular objects have a great afternoon